Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to sign up for a Google account. As you may already know by now, Google has the easiest, most advanced, and most popular way to network with your business associates and clients online. There is no reason why you cannot enjoy the benefit when others do. Believe it or not, the process is very simple. For starters, you just have to create a Google account. I will walk you through it. First, let us go to the Google homepage. Pull up your browser and type google.com on the address bar. Now that you have done that, you are redirected to the exact home page. Look at the top right side of the page, just on the black toolbar. You will see the Sign In button. I believe you are seeing that now, right? Well, click on it. We are about to create your actual account now, and by the way, this is free. You have nothing to worry about charges and things like that. You are now looking at the Google Accounts page. On the third line from the page title, you will see the option Create an Account for Free. If you can see that, click on it. You are now redirected to the Create an Account page. This is the exact page where you need to put in all the information necessary to have an account set up for you. Let's go through it one by one. First, you need to type in your business email address. You may add personal email addresses to your synchronized Google services later, if you so choose. But for now, let's focus on getting your business set up to be accessible online. So type your business email address accurately in the box provided. Okay, that one is done. Now, for login security purposes, choose a password that you will remember, but that others will not easily guess. It should have both letters and numbers in it, and should at least be eight characters. This time, click on the drop-down key and have the country where you're in reflected in the page. Next, you need to put in your birthday. Being in business, you should at least be 18 years old, but I believe you are so no problem. Type your birthday in the format shown. Just a few steps more before we're done. You need to prove that you are human. Do you see that picture with some squiggly characters in it? Can you identify each character? Type each of them as you see them. You will see that you have the option to print the user agreement for your records. Click the button to accept the terms. Congratulations! You now have a Google account. How easy was that? Test your login information and sign in to your new Google account. You will see a page that looks like this. When you receive your Google Plus account, you have access to powerful, free tools with which to maximize your business and attract customers to your website. Remember, people are flocking to Google to use Google Plus. Once you are in, these interested consumers will have easy access to your website and your products. It is advisable for business owners new to Google Plus to turn all of the notifications on. Now, why is that? You don't want to miss any messages or announcements while you are getting used to using Google+. After a while, you may decide which notifications you want immediately and which notification you prefer to turn off. Now, look at this page. At the top of the page is the option Back to Google+. The next heading reads Receive Notifications. Under that heading are options you need to check to see up your notifications. I believe you can see that. Below that part is Google Plus One, where you can see if the service is on. It is extremely important that you turn on Google Plus One. After making sure this is on, you may click on Back to Google Plus near the top of the page. Back to Google Plus takes you to your Google Plus profile page. The next thing that we will focus on is how to configure your Google Plus account to maximize your online business. The most important thing to do is utilize the Google Plus One button in order to drive traffic to your website and to make more money with your online business. With your Google account now properly created and with your initial insights into the Google Plus benefits, you can enjoy. We are ready to move on and do the configuration you need from this point. That is what my next video will assist you with. Hang on and get ready.